now. So it's saying it's, re it's recording to the cloud. Okay, so here you have below, this is what Hide Online Academic, the Hide Online Academic package looks like. Um, and um, many of you are subscribers to Hide Online, and then a certain percentage of you have trials, and then some of you don't have trials or subscribe. So this might be very new to you, but most of you either subscribe or, on, or are on trial currently. Now I wanna show you, well, first of all, as an overview, Hide Online has over 2,800 journals, full text, fully searchable journals, uh, not only on law and government and politics, but a whole variety of subjects. Um, and so in any one of the component databases here, if you wanna see a description, you'll see that the Law Journal Library has more than 2,800 law and law related periodicals on all sorts of subjects. And one of those subjects yeah, it includes things like presidential politics. Another subject includes things like, um, well, election law. So certainly the Law Journal Library is a part of Hine Online Academic where you can search for these topics. And another one that we're gonna focus on here within Hine Online Academic is the US Presidential Library. And just for a description here, the database includes messages and papers of the presidents, daily and weekly compilations of presidential documents, public papers of the presidents, documents relating to impeachment, which we've added fairly recently, title three of the Code of Federal Regulations, and a host of other works. In fact, in the presidential library, which is one of the many components of Hine Online Academic, there are over a million pages worth of material, over 1,700 volumes, 12,000 pages worth of material. By contrast, the Law Journal Library has over 39 million pages of material, over almost 2,900 titles. You can see we're two away from 2,900 journals, 70,000 pages. Now, uh, I want to show you a quick, because a lot of you use the Law Journal Library more than other parts of the Hine Online Academic because it is so large and we're so well known for it. So I will now take you into a search that you can do when researching presidential history or um, even election law. So I'm gonna go into the Law Journal Library. Now we're in the Law Journal Library. And we're going to put in, um, I'm going to do a search for electoral college and popular vote. And I'm going to throw in Gore. And I'm going to put Trump in here. So this is going to bring up Trump related things as well as Bush v. Gore. In electoral college and popular vote research. So now we're doing this specifically in the journal library. You can search, do searches that are in all the collections in Hine Online Academic or just in some of the collections on Hine Online Academic or I mean all of them together or just one particular at a time. So you do have that choice. Um, now here's something interesting from Fordham Law Review, election law and the presidency. Um, here's an article third party and independent presidential candidates, the need for a runoff mechanism. Um, here's something on free agency, the constitutionality of methods that influence a president elector's ability to exercise personal judgment. Let's see which one of these we find most interesting. I think this one's pretty interesting. Election law and the presidency, an overview. Um, notice it's been cited by three other articles on Hine Online. You could go here and click to the full text of those three other articles. It's also been accessed in a rolling period in Hine Online 23 times. So you know that people have been researching this recently. So let's go to election law and the presidency, this particular article. And now it, notice it looks just like the print uh, as if you had this print in your, uh, in your holdings. Of course, with the touch of a button, you can change this to the text. And you could use the text to put in paste if you wanted to quote something from this article, et cetera. Let's go back to the fully searchable PDF. Any cases or any um, documents here, uh, for example, here is a hypertext link. Here's a statute that's quoted in this article. It's hypertext link, so you can go to the full text of that article. Here's a federal third case. You can go full text to the, full, the case there, et cetera. So any blue hypertext links, you can do this with government documents. You can do this with other articles. You can do this with other cases. And you can find them all in this one election law article. Now, um, let me show you just a few of the other features. And then I'm going to 
show you more about searching for the pres presidential history on Hunt Online. So if you want to cite this case, you just go to here. Notice we have all these different citation formats, whether we're talking about Blue Book, Chicago, MLA, um, even McGill, the McGill School uh, in Canada, APA, variety of things. And we work with RefWorks, EndNote, and now Noodle Tools, as well as Zotero. So we work with all of those bits of software as far as uh, citing things for bibliographies, et cetera. Now, you may think, find this case, not this case, but this article uh, particularly valuable. And so we have an algorithm uh, in, in, a, in a feature called More Like This, which allows you to run the most, what the computer finds are the most interesting words from this article, and then to boost them as you see fit. So let's do more like this on this particular article. Okay, so now you can see here, there are various key terms that have come out in here. Electoral college came up high. Electors came up here, medium. President only came up here, so I'm gonna boost this more. Uh, election law, I'm gonna boost this. You could add in some other terms. You could add in specific dates. For example, if you wanted to go only from 1999 to 2020 or something like that, or you could go all the way back. The interesting thing about Hunt Online is every single journal, really listen to this now, because I get asked this, every single journal on Hunt Online goes back to the very first issue. So we have all of this historical material in all the journals, as well as current material. Um, and this is a little bit of a contrast to other databases. Some databases, for example, only go back to 1980, even though the journal may have started in 1927, they only go have the historical material back to 1980, if they have this historical material. We always go back. If a journal starts in 1898, we always go back to 1898. Also in 90% of the cases, 98, 90% of the cases, uh, we go all the way to the current issue or bound volume in all our journals. So that leaves only about 10%, it's actually less than 10%, where there's some kind of embargo, usually it's just a couple of years. But in 90% of the cases, we go all the way to the current issue or bound volume. And in 100% of the cases, we always start with the very first issue. Um, so here we are, let's rerun this, this search on more like this. And we're just gonna find, um, just things in the specific parameters. We said we boosted some of these terms. Here's an article on when legislature may mean more than legislature initiated electoral college reform, uh, ghost of Bush versus Gore. Justice ability of eligibility, may courts decide who can be president? I think we may find that out. Election law and the presidency, an introduction and overview. Third party and independent presidential candidates, the need for a runoff mechanism, et cetera. Let's see which one of these seems interesting. Well. This article, Justiciability of Eligibility, um, this is interesting because it's actually, we have, there are many situations where, artic, where cases are cited in articles, but when an article is cited in a case, as in this one, it's pretty important. And as you'll notice, this article has been cited in an actual case. So let's take a look at this. And now you may wanna download this, you may wanna email this to uh, another person who's on uh, trial or has a subscription or even someone who's not on trial or has a subscription, you can email them a temporary link to this article. You could get a permanent link to this article uh, and you can get a permanent link that you can use remotely as well. Uh, all we need is your proxy information and we can create, you can create a permanent link uh, that you can use remotely. Because this is an image, you can change the pagination. You can go to the second page, third page, et cetera. Um, you can see what topics are here. Notice this particular uh, article talks about citizenship, courts, and justiciability. So lots of different interesting things there. I do want to show you another search in the Law Journal Library, I, but I want to show you our U.S. Presidential Library since that's really the topic at hand. This is also part of Hein Online Academic as are all of these various collections. And if we go into the U.S. Presidential Library, you will see that we have many different documents that you can research presidential history with. So what are those documents you ask? Well, so you have a compilation of presidential documents. You have messages and papers of the presidents. You have public papers of the presidents. You have information, actually a whole separate section on the electoral college, which is pretty recent. We have a whole separate section on executive privilege, which you may remember 
from the impeachment proceedings and also during the Mueller investigation, a lot of people in the executive branch were claiming executive privilege. So you might want to look at books, periodicals, uh, journals. Um, you may want to look at government documents that deal with the concept of the executive branch asserting executive privilege. We have a whole section here on impeachment. So let me actually show you this because this isn't just the recent a Trump impeachment proceedings. This is any time impeachment has been an issue and and uh, had potential before coming before uh, Congress. So you have the Andrew Johnson situation. You have uh, Richard Nixon, uh, perhaps the most famous one, and then you have Bill Clinton, and you have uh, Donald Trump, which was earlier this year, as you'll remember. So we have all of this historical material about impeachment. So you can actually browse by presidents. You can go to scholarly articles on impeachment. You can go to our bibliography on impeachment. We even have external links that you can link to on impeachment. Or you might want to browse all titles dealing with impeachment. So let's take you back to the US Presidential Library in general. And here we are. Now, so you're probably wondering what some of these documents are. So the, the uh, CFR Title III is deals with, um, this is just the Code of Federal Regulations materials that deals with the presidency. We have the Code of Federal Regulations and the Federal Register and other parts of Pine Online that deal with all the topics of the Federal Register and the CFR. But here, it's just in the Presidential Library, we've just highlighted for you the full text of the uh, Code of Federal Regulations that deal with the presidency, the Federal Register materials mm -hmm. that deal with the presidency. And here we have congressional hearings that deal with the power of the presidency. We have other related works regarding presidency. Here's where executive privileges, et cetera. Now you could do a search in any one of these component databases. So presidency, you may want to do research on Zachary Taylor. And we might want to research the Compromise of 1850 within only in the presidential library. Of course, there may be many articles in the Law Journal Library on that. There may be materials in our congressional materials on that. But here, we're just in the presidential library and we're going to do a research on President of Zachary Taylor, who was president from 1849 to 1850. And let's see if there's any materials here. So here we have books on the materials. And now we could um, put this in volume date, oldest first, volume date, newest first, document title. We could use these facets on the left to specify things written at specific dates. For example, only things written since 2016 on this topic. Or you may want to look at actual material written between 1850 and 1899. You may only want a certain kind of document here. For example, you only may want results that actually mention electoral college. And you may want to just specify specific components here. You may want to, for example, highlight that you're looking for things that really talk about Zachary Taylor. And you can actually go into different sections here. You can go to chapters, indic indices, notes, volumes. So you can really fine tune things here. Another place you can do presidential research in Hein Online Academic is legal classics. Legal classics is the part of Hein Online Academic that has over 16,000, soon to be over 17,000 monographs and treatises. Where is this? It's just under legal classics. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And right here. So here, if you're looking for a description, you can go here. So you may want to look for a specific book, for example, that mentions Harry Truman. You could go into legal classics, which is actually not just law, but law and law related topics. And you could put in Harry as Truman and might want where it intersects with Roosevelt. So now we're doing a search specifically in legal classics. And there's a whole bunch of different results. Here's a book on unfolding of the American tradition, a selected selection of documents and statements uh, on human rights. Um, here's Americans for Democratic Action, its role in national politics. These things all mention Harry S. Truman as well as Roosevelt. So you can do a search this way. Um, so you can search in legal classics, you can search in the Law Journal Library, you can also search in the Presidential Library. And another place you can search for presidential material is actually in our Supreme Court Library, also, of course, part of the Online Academic. So let's go into the US Supreme Court Library. 
And let's say you were really interested in looking at the Bush v. Gore case or any specific Supreme Court case, but let's say you were looking for Bush v. Gore. You'll notice we've highlighted certain landmark cases and Bush v. Gore was a 5-4 decision from the year 2000. And if you wanna to go to the full text of Bush v. Gore, you click on it and now we're in the full text. You can also go to any cases or documents that are cited within the Bush v. Gore decision. And also on Highland Line, we have links to something called Oye. What is Oye, you say? You can say that out loud. What is Oye? No, you don't have to say that. Okay, Oye is what allows you to listen to the audio transcript of cases. So if you want to listen to the arguments before the Supreme Court from 2000, um, maybe to help you predict what would happen in a future Supreme Court on elections, um, well, then in that case, you could you could do that. You can go to any case that's cited within, um, as long as it came from be, between 1956 and current, you can listen to any of the cases cited within this case by going to OA. OA is done by uh, Chicago, Kent, and Cornell. First Chicago, Kent, and then it moved to Cornell. And uh, it's very helpful for listening to audio transcripts of cases. Um, in case you were wondering what, by the way, in addition to having our own case law, the US Supreme Court case law um, for our US Supreme Court library, we also have fast case integrated in Hine Online, which allows you to look at state case law. For example, if any state cases uh, analyzing the electoral college came up, you can look at that um, and you go here to case law. And you could, uh, if you have a citation, for example, you could put in a citation of a specific case. Um, and so you can search for case law doing that. But I want to show you another law journal library search on another topic of presidential history. So let's go into here. Let's say we want to search Watergate and Nixon and John Mitchell all within. And you may remember John Mitchell was the attorney general, uh, Nixon's attorney general during Watergate, or at least when Watergate started. And uh, now we're going to open this up and find documents that meet these criteria. Okay, Watergate, what was it? This is from the Hastings Law Journal. Um, notice this has been cited by 20 other articles and it's been accessed 50 times. This is a pretty good overview of what Watergate was, at least from a legal or political science standpoint. Here's the impeachment inquiry of 1974, a personal view. And you can, once again, you can put these results in relevance order, which is how I have it here, or you can put newest first or oldest first or um, various other criteria. So here's an article, Federal Prosecutorial Independence, the pre precarious position of the fourth estate in Trump Utopia, the role of popular culture and the law in protecting media freedom. This looks like an interesting article. Let's look at this. Now, it came up in the search for Nixon and Watergate because there's an analysis within this article of Nixon and Watergate and how it applies to the current situation in the current presidency. So that's something to be aware of. You can look at historical things, you can go to current things, et cetera. Okay, what other things can I research in Hein Online? Well, um, you know, regarding the presidency, we have a whole base on historical uh, foreign relations material um, that is actually based on a print product. It's in here called Foreign Relations of the United States. And so if you have a student or faculty member that is particularly interested in the presidencies between Lincoln and Reagan, this is a great way to look at the historical material from the different presidencies, whether we're talking about Abraham Lincoln himself or we're talking about going all the way to Ronald Reagan here and looking at the different sort of foreign policy um, issues that were coming up during the time of those presidencies. This is a, just another level of historical research you can do regarding the presidency on Highland Lines. So just be aware of that, foreign relations of the United States. Then we have a whole US Congressional Serial Set database. Now, the US Congressional Serial Set, here's a description. It'll, it's over 17,000 bound volumes. We started putting this into Highland Line about two years ago. We haven't uh, fully finished, although we've gotten uh, the majority of it is now on Highland Line. We're going to keep adding it, but it has all sorts of uh, everything from the American state papers to all sorts of historical 
materials that Congress has put out on a whole variety of topics. It even has anthropological materials, botanical materials, analyzing certain American plants, anything that Congress has put big reports onto that has gone into the US Congressional Serial Set will be in the US Congressional Serial Set in High Online Academic. And uh, so we just keep expanding. And so I bring this up only to tell you that a lot of the different US presidential information is also in the US Congressional Serial Set. So it's a treasure trove of researching historical things as well as many other subjects, all within High Online Academic. Other things that you can research, for example, you may be familiar with the slavery database, which came out in 2016. That of course has things on the history of slavery as it relates to the presidency. You can research specific presidencies in there, of course of Abraham Lincoln, but even presidents before there, or, um, the end of slavery, et cetera. Um, going back to George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. So this is a great research tool as well. Another place to research the presidency in high online academic is reports of US presidential commissions and other advisory bodies. All again, this is all part of High Online Academic, that low price that you know is for High Online Academic. All of these things are included in that. All of these presidential things, in addition to the legal things that we've discussed, in addition to political science, sociology type information, all of that is in High Online Academic. So here is the reports of US presidential commissions and other bodies. So you want the full text of the specific presidential commission, you can go here to it. You want other related works related to presidential commissions, you can go here. I mentioned we have congressional hearings. In this particular database are the congressional hearings that relate to different presidential commissions that have existed. If you need a bibliography and you're working with researching presidential commissions, here's the bibliography for you. If you want scholarly articles specifically regarding uh, presidential commissions, it's here. We have an index of the various presidential commissions. And here, if you want to search full text, you can do a full text search uh, for commission reports on the federal commissions, uh, presidential commissions. Now, any one of the component databases in high online academic have the ability to do an advanced search. What's an advanced search? Well, it has more features. For example, you can put proximity template. Now, you could do proximity with various Boolean things, but you don't really need Boolean to use High Online. In fact, some of your students won't be familiar with Boolean, so you don't have to, you can almost do a Google type search on High Online. But if you want to do things like proximity and you don't want to get involved with a specific Boolean search, we have a template right here that can do within five, within 10, within 25, um, and you can search by keyword, present, commission subject, sub, commission author, report title. Now we have a feature, and I'll show it to you in the con, we have a new feature called Venn Diagram Search. So let's see if I can do an advanced Venn Diagram Search. We're going to do it in, let's see. So I'm going into the Venn Diagram Search. I'm going to do it for President. And I'm going to put executive privilege here. Hopefully I'm spelling it correctly here. That looks correct. Now, oh, by the way, I know you're trying to ask questions. I haven't seen any of the questions yet, but I'm going to leave time for questions in a second. So now this is doing a Venn diagram search on the president and executive privilege. And it's going to give you a graphic representation of where the hits in the Law Journal Library stand. Notice there are 4,197 results that have both of these things in the Journal Library. Presidency, these are all the results from president. These are all the results for executive privilege. And then here, and notice this is interactive, it's changing the results on the right side. Here is just the overlap between those two things. So your students and faculty members that wanna visualize results, you can go right to here and you can change this Venn diagram and you can see how things overlap. And you could put three things, you could do, instead of and, you could do or. Um, so it's really an interesting feature. It's another sort of graphic representation of research using the Um Another thing I just want to mention, I'm going to talk one more minute, and then I want to take questions. My Hein, uh, if you want a bookmarking tool to remember your various queries, any user of Hein Online can create their own My Hein account and can remember all their queries, table of contents alerts. They can uh, remember the results um, using My Hein. Um, it's not necessary that you create a My Hein account, but it's free and heck, it adds to the process, so you might as well use it. If you want to find out what we've added to Hein Online in a given month, you can go to What's New. 
And I recommend you using this help feature because you can chat us from 8.30 to 6 uh, Eastern time from Monday through Friday. We can help you with queries. We can help answer your questions. Uh, if you want to know how much you're allowed to, to download, if you want any of our many help videos to find a case, to find a document, to find an article, um, use that by all means. And uh, we have a great blog, which has things like the secrets of the serial set, all sorts of information on researching presidential history. Um, so it goes on and on. And I recommend subscribing to our blog because we create free um, sort of overviews of many different subjects. Also, we have libguides that we've done on all our high online databases. And now with all of that said, I do want to take some questions. There are probably many waiting for me. I haven't seen any of them yet though, because I was talking so much. Yes, um, someone says, I want to make sure we are featuring all these cool collections via our social, our social media. And I, um, it's also possible to get individual URLs if you subscribe to the specific databases. So for example, you may have right now a whole URL to all of the high online academic, but you might want to highlight, for example, how to go straight to our criminal justice database or our presidential library database, and the sub components as well. So you can certainly do that. Um, yes, the chat feature, yes, it, people love it. Um, and it really allows us to get, find out what our customers are researching. Um, for that Venn diagram search, I. I'm not on that title, but there I think were over 4,000 results just in the Law Journal Library on that specific Venn diagram search I changed. But it changed because it was interacting with me. When I clicked just president, it had more results. When I clicked um, uh, executive privilege, it had fewer results. And then the overlap between the two is fewer than results. Now, if I had said or, that would be that many more results because it would include both um, circles, if that makes sense. Okay, other things that you're research. Uh, love the Venn diagram search. Will this webinar be available in viewing later? Yes, we're recording it um, for you. Um, it was the foreign relations of the United States. It was noted from Lincoln to Reagan. Oh yes, that specific part of Hunt Online is a specific work that actually dealt with Lincoln to Reagan. But as you'll see in the US Presidential Library, we go all the way back to Washington and we go all the way to Obama in most of the materials. And then the current materials have a material on Trump. So at foreign relations sub database really is specific to foreign relations material linking to Reagan, but in other parts of Highland we have uh, current and more historical materials. Um, I apologize, I missed your question. What databases are you? Oh, that's, oh, I'm reading this backwards, so. Okay, do, 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 do. I think Brianne's been answering, asking questions. Does anyone have some additional questions? Oh, for a community college for students in administrative justice program. Well, if you are already subscribed to Hide Online Academic, certainly you're going to want to highlight the Law Journal Library because that has so much of our, so many of our periodicals, but also our criminal justice and criminology component. Um, and depending on how much they get involved with political science, things like the presidential library, so certainly things like U.S. Con congressional documents. Um, but if um, if it's really if not they're, if they're not going that in depth, certainly the criminal justice collection and the law journal library collection. But I'd have to look at your specific school in more detail to see what you want to highlight. Um, obviously, people interested in history will want to highlight the slavery database and the civil rights database. Um, but we have other databases that deal with religion and the law and women and the law that are part of high online academia. So your particular school may want to delve into those things. Um, yeah, so we're going to make the recording available. I, it is 2.30, so I don't want to go over. Um, definitely, oh, the green plus signs. Which, which green plus signs are you referring to? Oh, these, these here? So these eye icons are the databases, are how you go into the databases to find out the descriptions. For example, we just recently added American Enterprise Institute. So you go in there, but you click on the eye and it'll get you into there. Um, we have material from the Brennan Center of Justice, which by the way, also has extensive material on the Electoral College and elections and uh, election reform 
um, Brennan Center for Justice Publications from NYU. Definitely check that out. But you can open the I symbol and you can go into any, um, any of these databases. But actually, Brianne answered the question in more detail, which I didn't answer, which is that the green plus signs are new databases that have been added. So you can open any of the databases with the I to get a description. But if you only want to see the new databases that we've added in a given time, you can work with that. Um, yes, we do work with EBSCO's EDS Discovery. In fact, uh, they're probably the discovery service we've been work, work, working through with for the most number of years. Um, uh, although we do make our KBART material available to all the major discovery service companies so they know about our different collections. But yes, to answer your question on EBSCO's EDS, yes, we do work with them. Okay. Uh, I'm going over, yes, in fact, a full list of discovery So I think I'm going over, I'm over by two minutes, but you will get the recording. I really appreciate everyone's questions and everyone's time. And if everyone got to stretch during this, this is good. You guys are great. It's a pleasure talking to you. I know everyone's busy. Thank you for the time. It's really been a pleasure. I really appreciate the big turnout. Thank you so much. And if you're on trial for Hunt Online, definitely consider subscribing because it's going to be the best uh, investment you can make. Um, it can replace more expensive databases. It has so much information. I really recommend you go for it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.